Hey everyone, it's Matt from ZenShop and today I wanted to give a little talk about Flutter because I've been building Flutter applications now for ZenShop for the past two months and I'm very excited by it. Um, I was very tempted actually to give you guys a little uh, preview of the applications but I'm going to hold off until another update later on uh, this month or next month when they're closer to launch. Um, however, I, I could talk about my experience with Flutter and what it means for the industry as a whole, because I really feel like Flutter is um, poised to do a, a, quite a, a, a dramatic improvement to your life as a developer, building applications for uh, a variety of platforms. Um, and if your company is interested in doing this, I think uh, you would be you would get a, a a better life as a developer working in Flutter than you would in many other technologies. Um, so, uh, just as a summary, uh, from my experience as a as a developer, I have ten years experience building native mobile apps in uh, Apple's system uh, with Swift and Objective C, going all the way to back to AppKit, UIKit, and Swift UI. Uh, dabbled in Swift UI. Um, and uh, I, I've, d I've got a lot of experience building native mobile apps for Apple. Um, and uh, I've also got three years experience building uh, front-end applications with React for ZenShop. Um, and uh, I'm, not a I'm not a Flutter fanboy by any means. Um, I will point out some of its, uh, you know, let's say hindrances or things about it which I don't like. Uh, but uh, I would say, honestly, the Flutter is game-changing technology. You should definitely check it out and give it a go. And um, so let's start from the top. Why is Flutter so awesome? Um, Flutter is awesome because you can build a single code base that will run really well on every native app platform out there. So that includes Android, iOS, iPadOS, macOS, Windows, and uh, I'm sure there's probably other places too. I think Linux, yeah, Linux. But you know, who uses Linux on a desktop? Um, okay, joking. Of course, there are people out there. Um, anyways, yeah. So uh, Flutter runs on all those all those uh, platforms, and uh, it does it really, really well, like scarily well. Um, so when I when I run my uh, ZenShop app that I've now built with a Cupertino theme. Um, so the Cupertino theme basically uh, mimics what um, uh, Apple's design guidelines um, provide. And uh, with the Cuperti Cupertino theme, Flutter has a very Apple-looking look and feel to it. And I've got ZenShop having a, a mobile app and a desktop app uh, running comfortably in macOS and iOS really, really well. Like you you'd be very hard pushed to tell the difference now uh, with what I've achieved um, for uh, what uh, what you'd side by side compare a Swift UI application with the Flutter application. Um, however, the Flutter application is, it also runs on all those other platforms too. Um, so, you know, uh, of course the Swift UI is uh, probably going to have maybe, you know, 5% more faster speed in um in the, sorry the swift ui app is probably gonna be a little bit faster potentially um but not noticeably um so we have a little bit of advantage um but uh but the flutter application runs on more than uh, more than apple's um platforms it runs everywhere so um in future i will be able to um theme the application to uh additionally look super native uh on the Windows side as well as the Android side. Um, and uh, I, I would be very excited to do that when the time comes. Um, but for now, we're just going to build it in an Apple Cupertino style because um, I personally obviously am familiar and I like the Apple Cupertino style. Um, uh, and I will make adjustments for individual platforms as I go um, for various reasons maybe um, Android has a back button and it makes sense to change some of the navigation in uh, the mobile app to support the back button um, maybe Windows has um, you know title close buttons on the left hand side rather than the right hand side those little changes that need to be done um, maybe notifications come in differently for Windows as they do 
in um, in macOS, but on the whole, it's not um, so much of a change or different styling. Um, but Flutter, Flutter has given me now what I would say a really really solid um, foundation for building Zen Shop's next big iteration. So we're going to have you know obviously live chat and SMS and all these wonderful features coming soon. Um, but the overall like package that's coming in hosted by these native apps in Flutter is just so, so much better than what I w was previously able to do with a, with a web app. Um, and, uh, so, so I wanted to talk about some of the, some of the little things about Flutter, which I think, um, are, are worth bearing in mind. Number one is it's using Dart. Um, so, uh, of course it's a new language for many people. Most people don't know Dart. Uh, I was a bit thrown that Google chose to use Dart as its, uh, main language when it had many other to choose from, including, um, TypeScript, which I think, it, um, Angular, you know, pioneered. And, uh, we've also got, uh, Kotlin as well for the Android side. Uh, but Dart is the language that we've settled on for Flutter. Um, it's not a particularly bad language by any means. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite a basic language, I would say. Um, I've now used quite a few languages in my programming history. I feel like I'm getting a bit long in the tooth learning so many different languages now. Um, but uh, the, uh, the overall experience for me for learning Dart hasn't been particularly challenging. It's very much similar to TypeScript. Uh, it's just a little bit more basic, um, uh, but it does get the job done. And I don't feel too held back by it. Um, a lot of the time anyway, when you're writing a Flutter application, you're spent more time with the widgets than you are with the language. Um, I have to say, though, coming back to Swift and my experience of Swift UI after a few years of being out of the loop with that, uh, I was a little bit thrown by the choices Apple were making and the direction of Swift as a language. It felt very alien and unfamiliar to me with all the, um, well, they would say improvements to the language they've made. I would say that they're not. Um, they, they've definitely made the language much, much harder to learn, uh, to master, and to also understand. I really feel, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because I'm, I don't feel an expert anymore in Swift, uh, at the language. Of course, I could always learn it and, you know, I could spend time learning the ins and outs of Swift. Um, but uh, at least from, from my observation of it, uh, of recent, definitely feels like Apple has dramatically increased the scope and the complexity of the language, which I think um, I, I, I would be hard pushed to see why, why we need all those extra things in the language. Um, when really it should potentially be done for you by the frameworks that you're using underneath, you know. So there's one thing I really like about Flutter, actually, in a way. It's a bit of a breath of fresh air, uh, as, at least compared to SwiftUI, is um, I don't feel like I'm fighting the language as much as uh, I would have probably done with a SwiftUI application. Um, the uh, the complexity or the challenges that I'm, f I, I'm, I'm often using or, or dealing with are uh, different of nature. Maybe it's a widget or I'm navigating from one screen to another, um, but I'm not, uh, I'm not thinking about a uh, main actor and thread safety and all those things. Um, I haven't had uh, any of those challenges so far yet with, with uh, Flutter. Um, I, just, I don't even know yet or haven't, I, I've, I've come across certain terminologies like uh, isolates and, um, you know, those kinds of things, which are, I think, essentially threads in 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 uh, Dart, um, but I haven't personally had to need to use them at this point. And and I would say that my application is fairly complicated. You know, I'm I'm fetching data all the time, I'm storing data, I'm caching data, I'm doing lots of things with data. And um, Dart and Flutter and GraphQL, Flutter does seem to take care a whole bunch of it for me. So I don't need to spend much time um, worrying about those things. Um, so yeah, my developer experience Flutter, really, really positive. Um, so I think, I think the thing that holds back uh, companies that are established, you know, ones that are 
you know, set up and going and they've already got teams, people working on applications is, of course, that, uh, you know, you don't want to have to retrain um, people or, uh, you know, l switch technologies because it's very, very high cost for you as a company. Um, but that, in a way, probably helps, you know, startups like mine because uh, on the one hand, you know, there's going to be people who've got, you know, great big web application teams, stacks, you know, technology uh, skilled in areas that, you know, may not be actually the, the, the best technology now to use. Maybe Flutter is, you know. Um, and uh, if I if I had a team of Flutter engineers, which is, you know, may, may end up being the case in future, um, those engineers are all going to be able to work on a single code base running on lots of different pl platforms really, really well. Um, it's going to be a big advantage to my company and uh, the experience that we can build for our users. Um, so I'm really, really excited by Flutter. Um, if you have questions about it or you want to learn more about Flutter, shoot me a message. I'll definitely uh, respond and help out in any way I can. Um, I, think, I think Flutter is something that you can easily pick up on the weekend. You know, if you're uh, if you're curious about it and you want to learn more about it, you could you, if you're like a mobile application developer, for example, um, and you maybe you, you've got Android experience and you want to build an uh, iOS application, or maybe you're the other way around and you want to build an Android application and you've got um, iOS experience. Um, I definitely think it's worth picking up Flutter as a sort of uh, transition from one to the other, and you may end up replacing your existing application with Flutter instead. Um, and then you have one application running on all your platforms. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, uh, but don't don't be held back or put off by Dart. It's not a difficult language to learn and uh, you'll get you'll get going with it really quickly, I think. So yeah, that's my it's my video update of Flutter so far. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I'll catch you soon with uh, an update and maybe a reveal of these applications I'm building with Flutter. Uh, I'm very excited to show you, but I'm just going to hold off until they're a little bit more ready and a little bit more uh, finished before I do that. So see you soon. Thanks. Bye.